against England. So, so far, the Brazilians, much touted among the favourites for the World Cup in Italy, have yet to score this year. They'll be looking to correct all of that tonight, and they've got a pretty strong-looking side out to do the job. There's the goalkeeper, Taparel, reckoned to be one of the best in Brazil's history, maybe the best since uh, Gilmar. The Bulgarians on the left of your picture there as the anthems play here. Finishing bottom of their group. It's about 75 degrees, or if you prefer, about 23 degrees on the centigrade scale. Balmy evening and an atmosphere almost fit to grace the World Cup final itself. Stadium packed with those samba dancing Brazilian supporters in their yellow shirts. And in a moment we hope to get a check on the teams. I can tell you that the Brazilian side, though, has got... Several of the big names there, Careca and Alamao, are back from Italy where they've helped Napoli to the Italian Championship, the Brazilians posing. And at the back, an interesting selection again is Mauro Galvao, who played in a little friendly the other night when Brazil beat the Fluminense youth side 8-0 and uh, much impressed the manager Lazzaroni. And Mauro Galvao could well stake his World Cup place tonight. He's in uh, the side, Aldai is there too. And the Bulgarians there, well, they'll be very much aware that they're here as the chopping blocks. They finished bottom of their group in the qualification tournament, and they haven't actually been out as an international side since that. That was back in November. the Brazilian side, Teferel in goal, Jorginho, Aldair, Ricardo Gomes, Galvao I mentioned, Branco, watch out for him with the free kicks, Alamal, Valdo, Silas, so important in the midfield, Muller gets a chance tonight up front alongside Careca. So it's a strong looking Brazilian side here that the Bulgarians are facing. And Bulgaria I suppose they'll turn up themselves hoping to resurrect something from what's been a fairly ruinous four years for them. There is their side, and the man to watch out for there is the man in the number eight shirt, that's Steichkoff, who's just signed for Barcelona in a three million pound deal, so he's obviously pretty useful. Much of that side based with the strong CSKA Sofia team, who've won the Bulgarian Championship 27 times. Mr. Da Silva. So we're all set here then in the Stadium Brinco de Auro here in Campinas, near Sao Paulo in Brazil. It's Brazil against Bulgaria. This action coming to you live on Eurosport tonight. It's going to be interesting to see just how ambitious the Bulgarians are here, but I suspect it'll be a rather a survival exercise for them if this goes to the form book. An early corner kick for them. Brazil, of course, who won 1-0 in both Holland and Italy on their European travels. Impressive results. away by Ricardo for Brazil here's Alamal in the midfield from Napoli 
Napoli. And this is an impressive beginning. Remember the Brazilians without Romario still, a broken leg victim from PSV Eindhoven. Stajskov that was, just slipping. What's the referee given? Free kick to Brazil. Muller was looking for the break for Brazil through the middle. Bulgaria with the chance to build again. Bulgaria who finished bottom of their group, a group that included uh, Greece, who they lost to 1-0 in their final qualification game, and Romania and Denmark, who rather dominated the group. Romania with the side who went through. And just listen to this crowd wolf whistling as the Bulgarians pass back in the early stages but the onus very much on Brazil here to come up with a, a performance Zayanchev spinning it back to Ivanov now Dimitrov number 10 is Ayardanov Off again, trying to play the long ball through, easily cut up, but that's a bad mistake there. Almost let in Steichkov there for the Bulgarians, but uh, just a little bit lax at the back from Maro Galval there for a moment. And Bulgaria almost had a sniff of what would have been uh, a shock opening goal. A free kick for them, and Steichkov is the man who's going to take it. A £3 million pound man just signed on a four-year deal by Barcelona. <laughs> Taffarel's got his wall organised. Here's Stajskov's free kick. Well, that wasn't a £3 million pound effort, was it? No problems for Taffarel with that one and it gives Brazil the chance to build. Branco. Leading inside for Alamau. Alamau, who's uh, lost favourite one time, but uh, is on his way back to re-establishing himself as a regular in the Brazilian side. Looking for Jorginho on the overlap. Just overhit slightly. Vasev then with the throw for Bulgaria. Bankov, Vasev again. And again, some rather sloppy defending from Mauro Galval. Gives Bulgaria the chance to break. But in the end, snuffed out easily enough. Franco got back. And with the help of Taffarel, the scare was over. Brazil, of course, past masters at just stroking the ball about, seeming to play in bottom gear, and then suddenly shifting up into overdrive before you know where you are, and suddenly they've hit you with a goal. Ivanov on the break for Bulgaria. Here's Stajkov. And the Bulgarians are making quite a positive start without really threatening a goal so far. Now here's Valdo. Muller. And that Bulgarian defence. Tigrish in the tackle, quick to cover. Be a big morale booster for the Bulgarians, of course, if they could get any kind of a result here. Alamau 
again still with his socks rolled up at the moment he does like to play with them down by his ankles that'll probably happen before much longer now Branco with the cross cut out by Iadanov Alamau much in evidence early on but dispossessed Bulgarians, in fact, uh, they've made the World Cup finals on five occasions without ever winning a match. It's a fairly extraordinary record. And 1990, all a far cry for them from 1986 when they appeared in the big showpiece match in the Azteca Stadium, the opening game against Italy, and actually got a 1 1 draw out of it. So that was a fair old result for them, but uh, they were nowhere near qualifying this time. And Brazil if the form book is to be relieved should give them a real walloping here but how much will Brazil want to show so close to the finals their first game with Sweden in Turin is 36 days away that's all a game you'll be able to see on Eurosport in fact you'll be able to see every game on Eurosport from the World Cup this is the station to stay tuned to now Brazil on the break again oh that's a nice looking ball here's Muller with a chance and Muller with a goal! And the Brazilians then just turned on the magic. Muller is the scorer. Lovely goal. The ball slipped through by Valdo. Muller getting away from the defender and the finish clinical. So the Brazilians explode into life here. Their first goal of 1990. And will that be first of many, I wonder, tonight? There it is again. Lovely little ball through. And Muller, well, he couldn't have done that better, could he? Back in the side tonight, Muller. And that's going to do his confidence the world of good. Now Valdo. And that's going to pep the Brazilians up. This side has been criticised for maybe being more efficient than some Brazilian sides we've seen, but perhaps lacking a little of the flair and fantasy, certainly on the, the recent European campaign. But when the mood strikes them, I think this team is capable of big things. As they showed just then, great move, good goal. Muller the scorer and giving the Brazilians an early boost. Is Valdo. Franco. Ricardo Gomez feeding, feeding Mauro Galvao. Dazzle from the Brazilians. We could, I think, be in for something very, very exciting in the fantasy stakes tonight. The crowd sense it too. They're really getting behind their side here. Of course, it's 20 years. A lot of people forget that since Brazil have actually won the World Cup. They seem to start favourites just about every time, but 20 years since they've won, long overdue, another trophy. By the way, at half-time, we'll have a real treat for you, a look back at some real Brazilian magic from 1970. Stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, back with the live action. Brazil 1, Bulgaria 0. What can the Bulgarians do about it? Area nil, the goal scorer Muller. 
Yadanov with the cross for Bulgaria. Nobody's on the end of it. Yes, they are now. Costa Dinov there. Dispossessed, and here's Brazil with a chance to break again. Branco. He's got a lovely left foot. Look at that. Width of the pitch for to the opposite fullback, Jorginho. Tremendous stuff. Now Alamal. Just for a moment there, and the Bulgarians looked as if they might be well capable of giving away a second. Instead, it's brought away with Yadanov. Brazilians, in fact, have had uh, a fair amount of problems with injuries and unavailability on the build-up to this game. Their squad of 22 for the World Cup, in fact, has already been named, but the manager, Sebastião Lazzaroni, has uh, had a lot of trouble with getting everybody together because of all the European commitments of his star players. Free kick there. Given against Aldair. Free kick then in a dangerous position, pretty central for the Bulgarians. Yadanov's lining it up. Stashkov is there again. Yadanov. Fair try. Looked like it might have been going wide anyway, but Tapara made sure. So give us more of a clue. No real problems for Tafara. Alamal, Valdo, now Branco. Valdo again. And here's Muller, the goal scorer. He'll be sniffing a second. But I wonder if those bookmakers who laid what could be a generous 4-1 to one against Brazil winning the World Cup may be beginning to revise their opinions after tonight's little show. 1-0 already to Brazil. Aldea. This is him again. Alamau, who's been much involved early on in the centre of that midfield. Jorginho getting forward. Mullis keeping it in play. Kareka trying to get on the end of things almost for the first time. And once again it comes back to Alamau. He seems to have so much time with the ball. Now Aldair coming forward. And Jorginho. Not on this right hand side. Interesting looking run, chance, and it's a goal. A goal for the Bulgarians. Caught completely by surprise there. It wasn't properly cleared, it went to the far post. And it looks like Kostadinov might be the man who volleyed it in there, much to the astonishment of that Brazilian defence. Sloppy bit of defending, really. Again, Mauro Galvao it was who didn't get his head to it properly. And the Bulgarians are level. Well, that's a real turn-up. Only 15 minutes gone, then. Brazil won, Bulgaria won. Now here's Branco for Brazil. Out of play. So a real...
real shock for Brazil here. Having gone ahead with that early goal from Muller, they must have thought it was going to be their night and they'd really be able to turn it on. But Bulgaria hitting him on the break there. And you have to say it was a, a sloppy piece of defending by Mauro Galvao. The man who, remember, I was telling you, the manager had been much impressed by him in the uh, previous training match. And you have to say, in that first quarter of an hour, it's not the first time he's looked just a little bit slack. Is Yadanov. Alamal. Silas. again Valdo good move this Branco he's got men in there as well the cross not the greatest here's Alamau again he seems to be behind just about everything Brazil do so far Valdo breaks again here and the goalkeeper Ilya Valov quickly off his line snuffing out Alamal but the Brazilians at times playing some lovely mesmerizing football in midfield lovely little triangles between Alamal and Silas and Valdo and I'm sure that's going to be a feature when the Brazilians get to Turin where they're based in Group C Dimitrov his goalkeeper Bulgaria will be much encouraged by that equalising goal here's Yadanov he's getting through a lot of work on the right side of that midfield for the Bulgarians Galvao and Jorginho here on the overlap remember it was from across by him that Kareka scored in Holland and that uh, move looked very similar there until it was blocked out by the number four Vasek The drums beating, the sambas going on in the background, the dancing. The Brazilians are enjoying themselves. The only thing that's wrong for, so far for them is that the score is 1-1. One, one. Here's Branco with the in-swinging corner. Good work again there by the goalkeeper Ilya Valov here's the goal scorer Kostadinov and if he does nothing else he'll be able to say that he scored against the great Brazil in Brazil as well now Jorginho with the cross and the defence not minding too much where they put it as long as it's out of harm's way for a moment Muller then for Brazil, Kostadinov with the equaliser after 15 minutes. Brazil 1, Bulgaria 1, live on Eurosport from Campinas. Here's Valdo trying to get his cross in. And it's interesting, the Brazilians, they didn't play to any kind of set system at all, really. Branco, who nominally is the kind of left back, is over there taking the corner on the right wing. Big in-swinging corner, goes as far as Muller. Good cross from him. Yadonov gets it away. And Vasev completes the clearance. 
And Bulgaria, well, what can they create on the break again here? The Brazilians trying to get back, but there are things on here. It's a door off that was trying to get in the cross. But blocked, but Bulgaria showing at times here that they can be dangerous on the break as well, despite their none too encouraging record in international football of late. This, remember, their first match since failing to qualify with an ignominious defeat against Greece by a goal to nil back in November. But drawing 1-1 here with one of the World Cup favourites, Brazil. It's just Todorov again. No problems for Tafara. And you can see that was a long, long way over the crossbar. Mauro Galval. And Alamal. Franco joining in. Out here is Muller. I beg your pardon, Valdo. Now Alamalo, is he going to try one? Intricate little movement here. Chances on for Branco, and he really does have a shot on him. The Bulgarians did well to get back there in numbers and cover that. The pattern already clear here. Lots of possession from Brazil. Lots of pleasing football from them. Bulgaria happy to try and suck them in and hit them on the break. Which is what they're trying here. Number nine is Balkanov. Good looking cross in. Tafarel there sharply off his line. But again the warning signs just flashing a little bit. Balkanov up there looking for the support. And if he just pulled it back a little bit more, well, it could have been even more dangerous. But Tafarel was alive to the danger. 11 is Valdo. Muller. Muller, who has often been talked of as a kind of latter day Garinchet Jairzinho type figure, wearing a number seven shirt for Brazil, but he's often been drifting here in this match over to this left side. Playing in the inside left channel almost at times. Silas here. Oh, look at this mesmerizing run from him. And Bulgaria happy to get it away. Lovely work though from Silas. Mauro Calval. Muller, who's having a good game, feeding Jorginho. Cross comes in. Ilya was there for it. The Brazilians have been in their training camp at Terrasopolis since late April. And they're on the final build-up now, and they'll be looking to slip into the kind of gear, I would think, that they can, uh, or would hope to display in Italy. Uh, you can only play your cards close to your chest for so long, of course, you can't expect to just turn it on when it matters when you get to Italy. You'd like to hit some kind of fluidity before that. And signs here tonight that Brazilians could be doing that. But not like that effort from Ricardo Gomez was optimistic in the extreme. And every time that ball goes behind the goal, I think the uh, fans want to keep it and take it home for a souvenir or maybe for one of those beach games on the Copacabana, although that's a fair way from here, I should say.
greatest of goal kicks puts Bulgaria back under pressure Kareka getting into the action haven't seen too much of him so far is Silas now Alamal stubbed it really didn't get hold of it properly and you can see the frustration on his face still the socks are rolled up as well maybe Alamal is creating some kind of a record here tonight and every time I've seen him before he's had his socks down his, by his ankles Involved Alamal. Jorginho joins the attack. Well, I think he was hoping that Muller was making a run there onto that far post. But the man in the number seven shirt wasn't reading his mind. Just tuning in, it's Brazil 1, Bulgaria 1. Both goals in the first 15 minutes here. Muller for Brazil, Kostadinov for Bulgaria, with a volley on the far post after 15 minutes. Now Brazil trying to get their noses in front again. Is Silas. Lovely run from Silas, Muller is trying to get there, gets the better of Vasev cross coming in but cut out by Ivanov and that'll be a corner kick, taken quickly Mauro Galval with the cross in there and those defenders have to be sharp always looking for something inventive something just a little bit different taking the quick corner that time this one the time the long one from Branco the in swinger and it's gone, gone an awful long way here the chance here Muller and Ricardo and the back here from Kareka and somehow Bulgaria survive well they had about three lives in there Three people seem to have chances then of scoring. Just have a look at this again. First of all, it was Silas. Muller might have scored. Ricardo might have scored. And here, Kareka with the back heel might have scored. But in the end, the men in white and green somehow survived that triple moment of anxiety. A bit frustrating, this, for Brazil at the moment. But still, they're playing the football. And nice to watch it is too, a lot of it. Here's Branco. Branco, the man with the dynamite shot. Watch him if there's a free kick from anywhere, I don't know, out to about 60 yards, I reckon, after what we saw at Wembley. You sometimes see him take a kind of fast bowler's run up to them and let go from any range. Now, have a look what I mean here. Branco in the number five shirt. Have you seen a run up like this? Here he goes. And look how he can hit them and swerve them. And even from that range, he gave Ilya Valov quite a bit of trouble. Look at that. Look at the way it swung late. And I think Mr. Branco is going to be a nightmare for some goalkeepers in Italy.
very much one-way traffic at the moment but still Brazil unable to find that second goal here's Ricardo Ricardo Gomez Not to be confused with Ricardo Rocha Muller there looking so sharp looking for the one-two with Careca comes wide Jorginho ever willing to join the attack Muller getting up again Here's Jorginho joining the attack. Oh! And Kareka on that near post. Red Jorginho's mind. Lovely flicked header. Couldn't quite keep it down. And it looks like the goalkeeper might have picked up a little bit of an injury in that scramble. This is a strong Brazilian side out tonight, but of course they're still without uh, Romario, the broken leg victim. Uh, Babeto is currently nursing a thigh muscle injury picked up last weekend. He should be all right for the World Cup, though. And Mazzinho's not here either. He's got a thigh strain. And you've got people like Dunga and Moser still uh, on duty with their clubs in Europe. Another look at that little chance again for Careca from Jorginho's cross nice rapport between the two players and maybe on another night that would have produced a goal well, I think Ilya Valov's okay Valov 24 caps plays for CSKA now established as the number one he went to the last World Cup as the uh, reserve goalkeeper. The Bulgarians actually progressed beyond the first round uh, in Mexico for the first time in their history, but still didn't win a match. Looked a bit short of punch power, seemed to remember. Now here's Branco for Brazil, feeding Muller. This is Alamal. Silas. Jorginho. Good player that Jorginho, always joining the attack. Overlapping. Getting back to defend when he has to as well. Very much Brazil's number one choice for the number two shirt. Brazil one, Bulgaria one. Yadanov for Bankov. Balkanov out there. But the Bulgarians increasingly here, finding it difficult to create much. was having a good game there in the midfield for the Bulgarians getting through quite a lot of work the number 10 offside against Balkanov Branco and Alamau combining menacingly what can the Brazilians conjure up here nothing for the moment I have to say that uh, Alamau is positively running the game in the middle of that midfield now Careca so skillful Alamau again who looks as if he may have the role of playmaker pinned down a la Gerson in days gone by 
reminder again that we'll be seeing the 1970 Brazil World Cup winning side and a little magical montage we put to get put together for you for half time still 1-1 here then and the Bulgarians will be pleased enough with their work so far they've defended pretty well against a side who obviously in terms of individuals outclass them to be perfectly honest but it's a useful test for the Brazilians of course against the European style remember in their group they're up against Sweden and Scotland and also Costa Rica Silas getting that wrong for once here's Branco back to Alamal a nice looking ball through but read by Yadanov who's been the most impressive of the Bulgarians so far tonight now that was all a little bit ambitious by Todorov on that run forward looking to pick out Dimitrov on the uh, overlap but over hit and the flag was up anyway offside Brazil for the umpteenth time build again Jorginho Muller Silas well, it's a nice ball through again the chance there and the save a good one from Ilya Valov Muller with the chance of striking for the second time in the match we didn't really do anything wrong he hit it hard and low but the goalkeeper albeit with his legs kept it out probably with that sort of strike a yard either side hit low and hard Muller might well have been celebrating his second goal by now but credit the goalkeeper he'd narrowed the angle corner to Brazil Valdo will take it Brazil looking for this second goal but not looking like scoring it from that corner kick Ricardo was up for it but uh, couldn't really get any directional power into the header again with Yadanov Bankov coming forward trying the shot but uh, a long way off target number eight there is Stajkov a three million pound man signed by Barcelona just recently fifty thousand crowd here or well, nearly fifty thousand anyway in Campinas about 60 miles from Sao Paulo and they're so far seeing their heroes being held 1-1 by unfashionable and unsung Bulgaria nicely measured pass from Alamal trying to release Aldair and now the chance for the Bulgarians to build again themselves to Dorov playing it long there for Kostadinov who was the goal scorer but it was too long too long for him and too long for Yadanov as well who came forward on this right hand side so Branco with the throw for Brazil to Alamal couldn't resist that little bit of ball juggling good as he controlled it there nice to see Jorginho getting forward again on the overlap but uh, Vasev is back well hustles him out of it what's the referee going to give here not your ball, he says to Vasev. 
That'll be a Brazilian throw in. Silas. Some lovely live talents in that Brazilian midfield. Some lovely flow about their football. But so far, in truth, not able to find the punch to go with the build-up. Now here's your Danoff again for the Bulgarians. Who've occasionally looked dangerous on the break, though less so it has to be said after the leading 15 minutes. Now here's your Danoff getting in the cross and the Brazilian defence I think it was Aldea who got back there to hack it away for the throw in the goal posing one or two questions about the Brazilian defence in the air with Mauro Galvao producing an indecisive header which fell to the feet of Costa Dinov who said thank you very much with a volley on the far post throw to the Bulgarians Silas is back, doing some defensive work this time, and Jorginho pops up in the left-back position this time, the right full-back. Mauro Galvao. Alamal. Valdo. I must say, I formed the impression watching the Brazilians against England at Wembley that they were capable of producing football a couple of gears higher than they were parading that night. But uh, they can sometimes be deceptive. The languid look about them, how far they can raise their game, we won't probably find out until the later stages in Italy. 1-1 so far tonight, maybe they're conscious that this is being beamed around Europe. They don't want too many of the rival managers to see, particularly those, of course, of Sweden and Scotland. Who, with due respect to Costa Rica, will be their main rivals in that Group C. Dimitrov here for Bulgaria. Bulgarians keeping possession quite frustratingly as far as Brazil are concerned over on this right-hand touchline. 1-1 one, one still, getting on for half-time now. And the drum beats in the crowd have stopped for the moment. Is that a sign that they're sharing the frustration, I wonder, of the Brazilian players? piece of control by Aldair and Bulgaria with Mr. Steichkov get the throw in Vasev with the throw for Bulgaria nice turn by Steichkov and he's brought down Free kick then to Bulgaria, just outside the penalty area. And it really would set the cat among the pigeons if they were to grab a second goal just before half-time. The foul was by Mauro Galvao. And the Bulgarians pretty anxious, I think, to hold it at 1-1. They've only got a couple of men forward here. They're not exactly being too ambitious. Well, Taparel had to watch that one. Nasty bounce. Steichkov's free kick. Bent quite nicely, and look at that. It only bounced about a yard in front of him. The Brazilians themselves are pretty adept at that kind of free kick. But well held by Taparel, who's highly regarded. Into injury time then in the first half. referee wants that uh, throw in just moved back a little bit the Bulgarians though quite happy to take their time here 
I think they'll look at the maker's name on the ball. They don't want to concede anything just before half time. Certainly not making life easy, not being ready made for guys at all, but now the whistle does blow for half time. The half time score here then Brazil won, Muller after eight minutes. And Bulgaria won, Kostadino after 15 minutes. The whole of the second half comes up here on Eurosport. And during the halftime break, we'll be taking a look at the Brazilian magic of 1970. The Mexico World Cup there. Great moments, great memories. But a first half here that's been pretty frustrating for the Brazilians after taking that early lead. Bulgaria hitting them on the break. And after that, the Brazilians unable to break them down. So the halftime score here then is 1-1. Join us again in just a moment. Just a little cameo we thought we'd throw in from 1966. Garincha, I think he used to wear two left boots. Something like that. He used to have that strange way, but a uh, wonderful striker of a dead ball as of course was Rivellino in later years and this time they've got Branco doing it you saw evidence of what he can do in the first half the man wearing the number five for Brazil tonight and there were two cracking goals weren't they from uh, 66 a long time ago England winning the World Cup of course in that year on home soil well, we're just about ready for the second half Brazil then in their familiar, famous strip, yellow shirts, the light blue shorts, the white socks, Bulgaria in the white with the green, and that quite clearly is a pretty cynical push by Vasev on Silas, free kick. Silas takes it quickly, but none too accurately, and the goalkeeper says, thank you very much, I will take those all night. themselves and uh, let's hope it isn't going to get a little bit petty looks like it might be Dimitrov who's the man who's gone down over there Yadanov waiting to take the free kick and looks like they're calling the trainer on for him So Yudanov with the free kick for Bulgaria. Brazil 1, Bulgaria 1. Vasev. Hard-working Yudanov again. And so far the avalanche of goals that the Brazilian crowd must have hoped and expected is not materialising. Dimitrov looking to feed it long for Kostadinov but uh, easily cut out. Now Brazil building patiently again, Alamal to Branco. Jorginho here trying to get forward again for Brazil trying to work something along with Valdo Brazilians keeping possession with difficulty Maro Galval familiar patient build up Aldea oh, that was neatly done by Valdo classy player Jorginho Valdo again Cries from the bench. Looks like a free kick for Brazil. And you really can't afford to give the Brazilians too many free kicks around the penalty area because they're so inventive. And this is Valdo with this one. Not in the most dangerous of positions, pretty wide. But anyway, Valdo 
with this free kick comes in there Karekas in there and that was a good piece of defending looked like Ivanov who got it away but the danger's not over yet Jorginho that the Bulgarians would be deliriously happy if they could hold on to a 1-1 draw with Brazil and frankly I wouldn't blame them Brazil trying to up the pace a little bit there Careca trying to break through impeded, free kick Careca of Napoli plays with Diego Maradona there of course and indeed Alamal just won the Italian Championship. Big celebrations there. Meanwhile, on the break, chance for Steichkov. Free kick. The Brazilians found he made rather a lot of that. Let's have a closer look. Nope. I think he was brought down there by Aldea. You can judge for yourself. Balankov is there. Steichkov is there. Yadanov will come across as well. Instead, they feed it out wide to the fullback Dimitrov. And well, it only needed a touch there. The crowd go absolutely silent every time Bulgaria mount an attack. You could have heard a pin drop when that equaliser went in after 15 minutes. Now Alamal. So this pleasing possession football from Brazil, but can they find the goals to go with it? Here's Alamau again. It's not so pleasing, particularly for Jorginho, who had to hurry back and try and keep it in play. Failed to do that. Vasek with the throw-in for Bulgaria. Todorov getting it back, and Ivanov patrolling it back to the keeper. Bulgarian mines very much on defensive security. They'd be perfectly happy if the whistle blew right now. That is a dangerous ball across the field there. Not too clever one, but he's got away with it. And now Bulgaria with the chance to break again. Balankov broken up. What can Silas do? Right, a lot so far. Nice little midfield triangles again. Turning this way and that, but hustled out of it. And Bulgaria again on the break, and it was on the break that they stole their equaliser. Balankov. Wearing those uh, black protective bandages on the hamstring. It looks like the Bulgarians have brought on uh, one of their substitutes. We'll check which one that is for you in just a moment. score here then early in the second half way by Alamal the Brazilians just for the moment seem to have gone off the boil and Bulgaria probably having as much of the play as they've had at any time Balankov coming forward Jorginho to Careca now for Brazil. So the Brazilians untidy at the moment. Just losing their way slightly. A lot of intricacy, but not really a lot of menace.
Bulgaria with the chance to build themselves. Iancev hitting it out wide. Vigadanov away by Mauro Galval. Now Faldo. their work, Silas Valdo again and the Bulgarians having to watch there, that was better from Brazil Valdo and Silas combining quite nicely Branco though losing out, losing possession to Todorov Bulgaria showing increasing ambition for the moment just pushing forward, they've got one goal, they're thinking maybe they could sneak a second. Although, they would be perfectly happy, I'm sure, with a 1-1 final score. Patrolling it back, frustrating the Brazilians. Of course, this is exactly the kind of tactics that their opponents in Italy may try against them. I would think most teams playing Brazil, particularly in the early group matches, would regard a 1-1 draw or any kind of draw as a triumph against them. And there'll be better teams there than Bulgaria, notably Sweden. Bulgaria, just to remind you, finishing bottom of their qualifying group group which also included Romania, Denmark and Greece but holding Brazil here 1-1 into the second half there are the goal scorers for you both goals in the opening quarter of an hour Iancev robbed by Jorginho now Alamal and it looked pretty but they lost possession doing it now here's Branco Plowing his way through. Find Jorginho, the other fullback. Branco still coming forward. This is nice stuff. Now Silas. Hacked away by Ivanov. And the Brazilians just showing signs now that they're being slightly ruffled by all of this. Saw Alamal there in a hurry to get that ball back. First signs that time is getting on their minds a little bit. Still plenty of it left. Over half an hour, in fact. Well, well done by Yanchev and Vasev. And the Bulgarian defence visibly growing in confidence. to say that for all Brazil's possession, the Bulgarian keeper, Ilya Valov, hasn't really had too many shots to save. Now here's Valdo again. Aldea to Jorginho. Aldea again. Maro Galvao. Breaks down in the middle of the field. Stajskov trying to field Balankov. Good work by Balankov. Stajskov tried the shot. Here comes Todorov with the shot. And Taparel. Well, he was nicely behind that. There's a good shot there by the Bulgarian number 11. 20 yards out. Really let fly. Taparel had it covered though. Here's Franco. Kareka is in there, Muller is in there, could be a chance here, but blasted over the bar by Silas. So the game suddenly exploding into life at either end there. Kareka it was who came forward, Muller was on the other end of it, it broke free, and Silas there with the goal gaping couldn't find the target. And the goalkeeper, somewhere in all of that melee, took another knock. 
his second of the game and this one looks a bit more serious Ilya Valov is down on the head I think it was as that cross came in from Koreka that Ilya Valov took that uh, knock and uh, he doesn't look too good does he and uh, they may well have to think about bringing on the substitute goalkeeper here Incidentally, of uh, two Bulgarian substitutions, uh, Botchev has come on. He'll be wearing the number 13 in place of Dimitrov. And the number 16, Pascu, on in place of number 11, Tadora. So the Bulgarians are now using two substitutes. Score here is still 1-1 here in Campinas. Lovely night, about 75 degrees. Frustration for a crowd of around 50,000 with Brazil being held 1-1 by a side who haven't even made the World Cup finals, Bulgaria. And it's a pretty strong looking Brazilian side too. Maybe pretty close to the one they'll actually field in the finals itself. You could argue about one or two of the positions, but uh, in the main. This looks rather like the Brazilian side we may see in Italy. At last we get back into action. Jorginho. Oh, that's a nice reverse ball from Muller. Jorginho again, didn't the goalkeeper do well? Careca was looking to get on the end of it. But uh, just moments after taking that bad knock on the head, the goalkeeper, Ilya Valov, was off his line like a shot to cut out the danger there. Good move it was too. Lovely reverse pass in there from Muller to Jorginho to set it all up. of only 9 million population compared to something like I think it's about 140 million Brazil a small country and still a pretty poor country Bulgaria and with no great footballing heights or tradition or history other than reaching five World Cup finals. I suppose some people would say that's history enough, and the Bulgarians looks like they're going to make another substitution. This is number 14 coming on. I'll check on that for you in just a moment. Balkanov is brought down, and that will be a free kick, which the talented and pricey Stashkov will line up looks a bit far to have a crack unless of course he can hit them as well as Branko seen in the first half he's quite clever with the free kicks here's Stashkov looks to play the one two just over hit for the return but there's still something on Stashkov gets in the cross Taparel very cool clean happening goalkeeper and Brazil have had uh, one or two fairly dodgy ones despite their many talented players down the years this goalkeeper looks uh, very solid indeed 23 years old established number one Tafarel now here's Ricardo Gomez feeding Branco and Valdo and Mauro Galval looks to head it long nice little knock off by Muller Kareka was looking to get on the end of it. Bulgarian defence had read it. That's a nice turn. 
Lovely turn by Skyskov. Showing just why Barcelona wanted to pay all that money for him. Real Kraft, you better play that. But the Brazilians have got it back again. Showing a lot for his uh, midfield players, making a lot of runs. It has to be said that Kareka has been pretty quiet, though. Alamal. Valdo. Muller. Oh, that's nice football there. Silas was coming through. has gone down, that's Vasev. And the referee's given, what's he given, the goal kick. And this is the uh, second injury we've seen for the Bulgarian. As you saw there, none of them made contact with it. He went for the goal kick, and Vasev, well, he did seem to be just caught a little bit by Silas as the two of them went for that ball. He's been told by the referee to get off the pitch if he wants treatment. Which is a ploy the referees use in international football and it's to be applauded to keep the game going. Now Muller, the chance here, a great save there, Kareka foiled by the goalkeeper. He was through then, the layoff again from Muller, again the keeper is hurt. We've got fisticuffs going on but it was one on one there. Kareka and the keeper, and the keeper one out. It was a good ball, Kareka playing the one-two of him, but look at that, Ilya Balov just getting one hand to it to foil the Napoli striker. So Brazil will be hoping that when they get to Turin, there aren't too many Ilya Balovs around, and that their luck might turn a little bit. Bulgaria here putting up stern, stubborn resistance. Still 1 1. Ilya Valov, who uh, I think he's going to be a bit of a hero in the newspaper reports of this back in Bulgaria. He's been injured and received treatment about three times now, but. Uh, He's been keeping out the Brazilians. That was a really good save from Kareka. And uh, remember, he foiled Kareka in the first half. And the centre forward tried that little back heel. substitutions and if you're wondering quite why we can't bring you the names of the substitutes immediately well it's quite simply the Bulgarians haven't actually given them to us come here with a squad of players and they've uh, named their team beforehand but uh, not their list of substitutes or at least the numbers to go with them so I'll bring you those in just a moment meanwhile Brazil build again still 1-1 we can confirm that the score and Jorginho for Brazil Silas, 24-year-old, free kick. Bulgarians hustle it away. Just a moment of danger again as it seemed to fall invitingly for Muller for just a split second. Now Alamal. Leaning it back. Varnoff hacks it away upfield. And the longer this goes on, the longer that Bulgarian defence are going to say, well, anywhere will do. Brazilians 
incidentally, despite their uh, reputation for being one of the most attractive teams in international football, their own domestic league is in a bit of a mess. There's a lot of dirty, dull matches apparently, and crowds are very, very thin indeed. And uh, there's a lot of people who think it's rather more important for Brazil to actually sort all that out than win the World Cup. Of course, they'd like to do both. And that's a poor ball, and it gives the Bulgarians a chance maybe to set something up here. Stoichkov feeding in there. Another chance for Stoichkov. And here's Kostadinov. And there the Brazilians for a split second with a little bit of casual play in the middle of the field. We're almost caught on the break, but what can they do themselves here? Game swinging from end to end from him. And Muller laying it back here. Alaba on the end of it. But he couldn't keep it down. Good break this from Brazil. For once the Bulgarians were just a little bit thinly populated at the back. Nicely laid back by Muller. He's had a good game. Alamal won't have been happy with the finish. Daishkov, who's uh, beginning to become quite influential in things. Looks a good player, overhit that one though. News of the two Bulgarian substitutions, by the way. The bench tell us that number 14 is on Siorglev and number 17, Lechov. So the Bulgarians now with four subs on. Kochev, Tasku, Siorglev and Lechov. Zalamau plays that languid ball out to Branco. Valdo is going wide for him. Instead he looks for Kareka. He doesn't find Kareka. Now here comes Balankov. Lechov. Tasku. Tasku again. And the Bulgarians quite happy to play in little triangles. He looked for the free kick there. No, said the referee. Chance for Muller. Well, it must have been a free kick one way or the other. And the referee says Muller was the man impeded. Although, to be honest, he did seem to be backing in quite a bit himself there before he was fouled. Silas comes over to take it. Silas, who's a member, incidentally, of the Evangelical Church, as are one or two of the Brazilian squad. Just the two-man war being employed there. To what purpose, I'm not quite certain in that position. Silas takes in, goes for the shot, trying to surprise the keeper. I think he was looking for something on the near post with the goalkeeper on the far post, but uh, just didn't quite get the trajectory of it right. Lechoff there just caught. Both goals in the first 15 minutes here. Muller for Brazil. Costa Dinov for the Bulgarians, much to their delight. Yordanov. This is uh, the 
Ricardo Rocha, who's come on for his namesake, Ricardo Gomez, in the Brazilian defence. Those two in contention for central defensive places as Aldea gets in that cross. Well cut out by Ivanov. Corner kick. Now the Bulgarians much encouraged by what they've been able to achieve so far. Holding mighty Brazil 1-1 here in Campinas. Well, again, nothing comes of it. And the chance to build with Tasku for Bulgaria. And, uh, we can do without the play acting there, looking for the free kick. It clearly wasn't one. Silas coming forward. Ricardo Rocha. Bulgarians happy to give away the corner kick. Here's the corner for Brazil. Valdo to take it. And in truth, the Brazilians haven't really been able to create too much from those uh, corner kicks. Just the one incident in the first half, which ended with Careca's back heel, close to goal. But apart from that, they've made little of the set pieces. Alder. He defeated out wide. Not the best ball he's ever played. The referee wants the play taken back. I think the uh, free kick had been taken a little bit early. Substitutions now being made. Valdo is coming off. Number 16 will be Tita. Valdo coming off. Now Ricardo Rocha. Jordanov getting back there, the midfield player to help out his defence. Hacks it away. Ricardo Rocha with the throw in. Tita getting his first touch. Now Alamal. This is dangerous, but no, into the arms of goalkeeper Ilya Valov yet again. Danov trying to get his way past Aldea, no problems at all this time for Brazil. But Brazil will be slightly worried, I would think, well, more than slightly worried by their inability to get to grips and take apart a team of Bulgaria's limitations in international football just at the moment. Into the last 15 minutes of the game now, and it's still 1-1. What can Brazil do about it? In the final quarter of an hour, the onus on them now very much to step up the pace and show us what they've really got. And I think the view of the Brazilian press and public would be 1-1 v Bulgaria at home, not good enough. Nice little break on here again with Valenkov. He's not too happy that he was uh, cautioned by the referee there or called up anyway for the foul on Mauro Galvao. So you can see quite clearly there a foul it was. And a free kick to Brazil. Threading his way through, tries the left foot shot. The goalkeeper there was there again. Here it is, Alamal threading a little path through, almost Socrates fashion, but a uh, left foot shot, the left foot finish, not good enough to beat a clearly informed keeper, Ilya Balov.
This is Jorginho. Muller. Got the goal earlier on. And they set up one or two other things as well. Now Alamal. Jorginho again. Looking for the free kick. Has he got it? Bulgarian defence don't like it. Referee says they'll have to lump it. I must say, it did seem to be six of one and half a dozen of the other. Let's have a look at it again. Well, was that a free kick? Lechov is the man who was deemed to be responsible. Bravo, Bravo. Jorginho with the free kick for Brazil. seeking at last from a set piece they make something of it Aldea is the scorer coming up from the back and he was really given a free header there two defenders involved in this Jorginho with the free kick Aldea with that good header I said it was a free header I do a disservice to the Bulgarian defence because Aldea got up very well there there was nothing this time that Ilya Valov could do about it. Brazil 2, Bulgaria 1. And the defender has given the Brazilians a much-needed boost there when they were becoming very, very frustrated. Jorginho's cross, simple as you like. Powerful header, found the target, no problem. Aldea 2-1. Russia getting in a bit of a mess and now Bulgaria looking to create something themselves that'll be a free kick to them always the most dangerous time is when you've just scored Balankov is the man brought down Stashkov there getting into an argument with Jorginho Tempest becoming a little afraid the Bulgarians will be disappointed that they couldn't quite hold on to what would have been a notable draw for them in Brazil. So the free kick, Stashkov will be looking to hit it, so will Yadanov. Inside the last ten minutes now. And this dangerous little moment for Brazil. Can the Bulgarians sneak a second it's well hit Taparel had to be quick, quick and clever that was nicely hit by Stoichkov and Taparel had to be very alert indeed to knock that over the bar I must say he did it pretty nonchalantly Bulgarians are not done with just yet. Any notions that uh, the Brazilians might have had that Bulgaria were coming here as ready-made four guys for some kind of World Cup party here on Saturday night? Well, they were much mistaken. Interesting workout and quite an interesting test for the Brazilians on their way to Turin. Alamau again for them. With the outside of his foot, it looked good, it was too long for Kareka. This is Yadanov and the Bulgarians. I don't think they're going to be happy just to sit on 2-1 and say, well, that isn't too bad, is it? I think they'll be looking for the equaliser here. Balankov for them. It's that long, Aldea, the goal scorer, cuts it out. Alamal, who's had uh, a busy night's work in the engine room, doing pretty well. Bismarck. Clever, but it wasn't very effective and it's given Bulgaria possession again with Yadanov and luckily hit uh, 
the unknowing back of his own player is Muller you almost feel with that shot you're playing on the right wing there with him don't you Bulgaria probably wish you were Ricardo Rocha enough though and Janshev is able to tidy it all up and Bulgaria running out of time now trailing here by two goals to one in Campinas Brazil remember three times the winners of the World Cup but not since 1970 and sweet dreams are made of the Jules Rime trophy for them in Italy this summer But uh, there'll be several of their supporters who may have one or two reservations about them and their ability to go all the way in Italy because they've made pretty hard work of this tonight against the Bulgarians. Having said that, the Bulgarians have been nobody's fools. They've defended fairly well. They might have made a, a lot of sides struggle. Two one then to Brazil. Muller after eight minutes for them. Kostadinov with the equaliser for Bulgaria after 15 minutes, and then 10 minutes from the end. What well, looks now as if it'll be the winner for Brazil from Aldair. Though we must not speak too soon. Another substitution being made as uh, Bulgaria come forward again. That's not a clever piece of defending, and Aldea has to mop things up. Balankov seemed to be impeded there. Has the referee given it? I think he has. So Bulgaria still looking for a late piece of larceny here. Tafarel ordering his defence around but Bulgaria not making too much of that well, there's no way Ricardo Rocha is going to get away with that and Brazil just being made to hold on and uh, maybe hope for the final whistle a bit now and they're quite content to just say yeah well we've got a win that'll do having had draws with Yugoslavia and then a loss to England but here's another little chance now for Yadanov coming forward on that left side and Brazil they're just teetering a little bit there at the back at the moment Banchev is the latest substitute for Bulgaria wearing number 17 but Yadanov with that long corner and Tafarel held that very well indeed took a knock as he did so Tafarel hasn't had a lot to do tonight but what he has done has taken the eye here's Aldair and Jorginho I think those two will certainly be part of Brazil's starting lineup. I think this fellow might be as well in Italy Alamal He seems to have the kind of latter-day Gerson role, as I mentioned earlier on. Here he is now, skipping impressively past a couple of tacos. Nice little bit of work that was from Alamal. Of course, mentioning him in the same breath as Gerson gives him quite an act to live up to. We'll see in Italy. over there the latest of the Bulgarian substitutes getting impeded free kick which 
Yadanov, who's been much involved, takes again Balankov trying to swap passes there with Bochev didn't quite work out and Brazil have the chance to build again darkness has fallen the floodlights are out here warm evening Brazil 2 Bulgaria 1 the referee is looking at his watch now closing moments of the game there's been a bit of injury time to add on though Yanchev with the free kick for Bulgaria. Jorgrev. Inside the last couple of minutes on my watch now. So the Bulgarians, if they are going to do something about this, will have to do it quick. It's Balankov who's hacked down. Fairly unceremoniously there. And the Bulgarians looks like they've got another free kick here and that's in a dangerous position so there'll be a few Brazilian hearts missing a beat again here 20 yards out central there's the clock 10 seconds of normal time to go there'll be a bit of injury time though remember the uh, Bulgarian keeper Ilya Valov was down a couple of times getting treatment so there might be two or three minutes of injury time but what drama we'd have here if the Bulgarians could snatch an equaliser and deprive the Brazilians of victory right at the death. There's Yadanov wearing the number 10 shirt, lining it up. Tries it. And, well, it wasn't really that close, was it? Tried to bend it didn't really get the bend on it though that he would have wanted if you're just coming in after a night out let me tell you these pictures lie from Campinas near Sao Paulo in Brazil where one of the World Cup favorites Brazil lead Bulgaria by two goals to one they've had quite a battle though to establish that lead their second goal coming only 10 minutes from the end from Aldea and since then they've given the impression of a side who are very content to just hold on to that and will be fairly happy to hear the final whistle hasn't in truth been the most convincing World Cup audition from them but how much are they keeping up their sleeve there seems to be a bit of trouble there in the crowd and I would, can only think it's among rival Brazilian factions, if I can put it that way. It can't be too many Bulgarian fans, I wouldn't think, here in uh, Campinas. And the referee has blown his whistle. He hasn't had it on too much injury time. 